happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be um showing you all some new full cover tips that bt art box was kind enough to send over these are the full cover tips that they sent me and i'm super excited to give them a try because you all know i am in love with the bt art box press on nails i've done a few reviews on my channel of them already and i actually have another one coming soon um i wore them out of town and so i still need to edit that video but um yeah i am really liking their full cover tips slash press ons and so they sent me some um full like ones that are already like have color to them and so the first one here is so they all say peach natural pink well, I'm thinking, okay, this color is probably peach. This color is pink. So this color must be natural. So this is natural here. And I did get it in a medium coffin, I believe is this size here. And so let's show you all what these look like. These are really pretty. I like this color a lot. Um, and again, I really like the BT Art Box like full cover tips or press-ons because they are just really high quality. Another thing I really like, like about these is these are full matte. And so when you once you apply them, all you really need to do is apply top coat and go. Or if you're looking for a matte look, you apply them and you're done, which I really love. So yeah, these fit really nice on the nail bed. They're really flush to the they're really flush to the cuticle area and so yeah these fit my nails really nicely so i think i'm gonna have a lot of fun playing around with these these are that natural color and it's really pretty you guys really pretty we have the pink color and it's in a medium square i absolutely love their medium square nail tips so let me open this up i actually have a full review of some press on nails i did in their medium square so i'm gonna leave that um link down in the description box in case you want to check them out but i absolutely love those nails yeah these are really pretty these are the glossy ones okay they fit really nicely on the nail bed it's a really nice soft pink color so yeah i'll be excited to be playing around with these and then the last color they have here is the peach, which is in, I believe, like a medium or short almond. And that's what these look like. Super cute. This is what these would look like on the nail bed. Really nice, soft, nude color. Really, really pretty. So, yeah, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and decide which one of these size nail tips I want to use and we're gonna get into a really quick easy look I did decide to go in with the natural medium coffin I do have my nail tips all sized out and ready to go apply some peel off base coat you guys know this is my favorite peel off my peel off base has been applied I did read the instructions for this and it says that you're supposed to prep your natural nail apply a tip primer um, after you size them out then you're supposed to use the BT arcs box 401 nail glue I actually don't have their nail glue so what I'm gonna do is instead I'm gonna use this solid builder gel that I got from Vetsy recently because I've been wanting to try this out in different ways and so I'm going to go ahead and use this to apply my full cover tips now the nice thing about these tips again is that they are fully matte meaning that I don't have to etch the inside of the nail tip which is what I normally do and I don't have to buff the surface of the nail which it just saves a lot more steps and so yeah first I'm gonna go ahead and take my solid builder gel here and just scoop out a little bit of the product with the actual nail tip itself, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and smooth that product into the inside of the full cover tip, okay, like so. I'm gonna take it at the cuticle, and then push down, push down, push down, until it's pushed all the way down, all right, like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. So I do see that some of the product is oozing out on the sides. So I'm gonna just take my cuticle pusher and see if I can maybe remove that before it cures all the way. Okay, and it looks like it's coming off. This is just gonna reduce the amount of filing I'll have to do afterwards. So yeah, there we go. I just wanna kinda of remove that before it cures in place. Like so. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the second one. So I'm gonna repeat that same process. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the solid builder gel into the inside of the nail tip, okay? I will take the builder gel that's on the inside and with the back end of my spatula, I'll just kind of smooth it out a little bit so that it's nice and even and covers the inside of the nail tip, okay? Next, I will go ahead and start at the cuticle area and go ahead and work the product all the way down, like so. Give it a nice firm squeeze. This one, I think I might try to remove some of this product so that I don't have so much cleanup. And then I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds. Again, I'm gonna go in with my solid builder gel. Just scoop up just a little bit of the product onto the nail tip, like so. And with the end of my cuticle stick, I am gonna smooth that surface out 
I'm gonna smooth the Builder Gel out to the inside of the nail. And then I'm gonna flip it over, start at the cuticle area, and just work my way down like so. Then whatever spillage I have, I'm gonna use my cuticle stick to clean it up. Like so. Okay. I really like using this solid builder gel to apply this because you really don't have to worry about the nail tips slipping around and the glue gel moving everywhere. So this is a great alternative. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds and then I'll do the rest of the nails off camera. So this is what all the nails look like after they have been applied. This was a really quick and easy set to do, I will say that. So say that if I needed to do my nails and go somewhere, I could just file off these the parts that's overhanging and then my nails would be good to go if I wanted a nice cute matte set. So loving this so far. I am gonna go in with my e-file and just file away this excess product that has spilled out on the sides here. It's really minimal. I really only have it on this hand, this finger here, this finger, and a little bit on my thumb. So I'm gonna go through and do that really quick. So this is what the nails look like after they have been filed. So I do wanna actually try doing some chrome nails. I did get some new chrome powders from Amazon. And I actually don't know which color is which. This one kind of spilled out a little bit, so this one's kind of like a kind of a like a fairy green color. And I'm actually not 100% sure what the rest of the colors looks like. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. Ooh, I like that they filled up to the top. So this one looks like it has like a kind of a green effect to it. And this is what the next one looks like. This one's also kind of a green color. This is what the third one looks like. Ooh, I think this is the one. This one kind of has like a pinky kind of color. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the one right there. That's really pretty. And then I guess let's go ahead and get this one open too. Yeah, this one already spilled, so I'm gonna just take what's here and kind of rub it on. And this one's kind of like a pearly white one. So I think between the two, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for this kind of like pinky purpley kind of look. So that's the one I'm gonna go, go in with. Right off the bat, y'all, this stuff is very messy, okay? <laughs> very, very messy. So I'm gonna just wash my hands really quick and I'll be right back. I did see that when doing chrome nails, you'll wanna go in with a no wipe top coat. So I'm just gonna go in with one of my favorite no wipes from Beatles and apply that to all of the nails. This is what the nails look like after they've been cured for 30 seconds. And so now you're supposed to go in with your chrome powder here, okay? And you're supposed to use this sponge applicator and you're supposed to just rub it into the nail. So I don't know which side to use. I guess I'll use the white side. You're supposed to pack on a lot of the chrome powder onto the thing. So really kind of get it in there, okay? And then you're supposed to take your finger and the applicator and just rub it in. Okay, I already see it, that's pretty. Wow, loving it already. And I can see with this a little bit is gonna go a long way. Holy moly, that's pretty. Oh my goodness. That's gorgeous. You guys see that? That is pretty, I like that a lot. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that process with all of the nails. Again, you'll wanna just pack that um, chrome powder on as much as possible. So this is how much I have on my applicator, okay? And then you'll wanna just rub it on into the nail. Wow. That is really pretty. Okay, chrome nails are a lot easier than I had anticipated. I thought they were gonna be a lot harder to do, actually. I don't know why I was so scared to do them for so long, but I am loving how this is looking. Wow, I'm here for it. Yeah, that is really pretty. I like how that's looking. I'm gonna take this fluffy brush here and you'll wanna just kinda dust away all of the excess powder here on the actual nail itself, like so. From there, you'll wanna seal in the design with another layer of top coat, so that's what I will do. You can see the difference of what the nude looks like with the chrome. 
and without the chrome. It just really adds a cool effect to the nude. I really like that. Now I'm gonna go in with another layer of top coat to seal it all in. Oh, that's, look at that effect. Wow. It gives the nails such a beautiful effect. I love it. Yeah, this is beautiful. So I'm gonna flip it for 10 and then cure for 60. So this is what the nails are looking like with the chrome effect. I'm absolutely loving how it's turning out. <sighs> I'm debating on if I wanna do anything else to the nails, you guys. I'm actually just liking this simple chrome look. I might go in with some simple nail art. I'm gonna just test it here on one of the nails. And if I like it, we'll go with it. And if not, I think I just wanna keep this a plain set. Like sometimes, Simple and to the point is where it's at, you know? Maybe if I just do a couple of squigglies, how I feel about it, you know? Something like this. You know, something like this. Yeah, I'm not feeling it, y'all. I think I just want it to be plain and simple. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off. Yeah, I think I'm really just liking the basic chrome look. So I am gonna go ahead and um, wash my hands to get all this extra powder off or these cuticles and we're gonna get to the finished look, okay? Yes. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I'm absolutely loving how this beautiful chrome set turned out. I love the simplicity of it. It's really cute and dainty. And you know, sometimes it's great to just go with a nice, plain, simple mani with a little bit of personality to it. My final thoughts on the BT Art Box Soft Gel Full Cover Tips is I love them. You all know, like I said, I'm a really big fan of the BT Art Box um, Full Cover Tips slash Press On Nails. They are of strong quality and I know that these are gonna last at least two plus weeks because I have done wear test on their products before and I know that they last that long. Um, I will leave tutorials like I said to um, other reviews I've done on the BTR Box brand but I absolutely love their products and so yeah if you guys are interested I do have a discount code with BTR Box um, so I am going to leave that here on the screen as well as in the description box below and also you guys their products are available on Amazon so I am going to leave links to all of these different shapes and designs and colors down in the description box so you can shop them on Amazon as well so yeah y'all let me know what y'all think about my Manny. Is she cute or is she cute though? Like loving it, okay? So a special shout out for BT Art Box for sending these products over for review. I absolutely love them. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.